and um, I already successfully used this to remove and replace one valve stem. I still got a whole bunch of them to do. But uh, it allows you to do this job with just one person. So here, um, you make sure that your camshaft is rotated such that the cams, uh, or at least the cam for the uh, valve that you're trying to replace is facing straight up. Um, you may also need to lock the camshaft when you compress the cylinder so it doesn't rotate. But um, what happens is you just slide this tool. There's a little notch here and a little groove inside of it. So you go ahead and slide the tool right um, on the cam for the valve that you want to replace. And again, there's a there's a little um, I think it's a five eight screw if I'm not mistaken that goes to. I'll look that up again later. I'll put in, I'll put that link in the description. All is the detail in the description but um, you go ahead and take this little adapter piece here there's a little opening that you slide onto the uh, the nut or the bolt and then as you tighten the bolt this is essentially a clamp it will go ahead and push this piece and compress the spring and you'll be using this little opening here to either remove or install the uh, the little uh, valve keepers and those are the most annoying pieces to put back on this engine if it, especially if it's inside the engine bay so here you just again slide this right in there like that you untighten the screw such that it does it's not poking out from the bottom section here or else you won't um, the bottom section where I'm tapping with my finger or else you won't be able to put the little adapter in so I can feel it's flush and I'm going to go ahead and slide my uh, bottom adapter right in there um, so that uh, it's sitting and again it's, it's, it sits and centers itself with uh, the top of the valve spring and you go ahead and tighten the screw again tighten it slowly until it enters the opening in uh, the opening in this little adapter here and once it's in there, you just gotta go ahead and hold the adapter, continue tightening the nut or the, the, the bolt rather. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the bottom of that valve uh, is sitting. There's a little groove on the valves um, themselves, on the valve springs themselves. Um, so that adapter will center itself with, with that particular groove on that, that roof. So you just keep tightening the nut keep saying not uh, tightening the bolt rather until you can feel some uh, compression right now it's still going going and going make sure you hold that little valve because otherwise it'll spin freely um, now I can feel that the nut the, the, the bolt is getting tighter and at this point nothing is moving so I can't remove this and then you can go ahead and grab one of your wrenches. Um, I have a, let me see what size bit is this. It's a 13 millimeter um, socket. Just go ahead and pop that right on the nut here and continue tightening. Um, so I'm gonna pause the video and compress and uh, use an air compressor to, to apply, um, to pressurize this cylinder before we proceed because otherwise the valve is going to fall once we compress this so I'll be right back all right so let's go ahead and compress the cylinder here and again there's a whole bunch of videos that show you how to do this essentially you grab one of the cylinder compression uh, test kits if you want to do that and um, there's a little valve inside this hose uh, that you need to remove uh, again, I'm not going to go into the details on that. I just want to show you how to use this tool here and where to get it if you want to uh, make your own. Alright, I have it set at 90 PSI.
Okay, you can see this thing can continue compressing the spring until it's fully compressed. Um, you don't need to, but I find it's easier to do that. And sorry about the compressor noise there, but uh, it's going to be automatically cycling. All right, so it's compressed. Let's go ahead and grab, use a magnetic pickup tool to grab the keepers. All right, so I removed the valve keepers and now I'm just uh, decompressing or this untightening the clamp and we're gonna get rid of the, remove the spring, replace the valve stem and reinstall the keepers. So again, installation is the reverse of removal. Um, and so at least with this tool here, you can compress the spring, keep it compressed without rushing and take your time So you don't have to fully compress the spring, again you just want to compress it enough so that you can see all of the locking rings on top of the valve there, um, because if you fully compress it, your valve keepers might fall off instead uh, during installation. So I think this is compressed enough and you can see I'm not touching anything, uh, it's very steady on there, not going to break, you have to print this with 100% or at least 90% infill, but it's like super strong so it's not going to break. So the trick here is you have to go ahead and put some grease on these, uh, either Vaseline or in this case I'm going to use some brake lubricant because that's the only greasy thing I have on hand right now. I'm going to take that, smudge a little bit of it here. There you go. And then you want to put some of that on, on both of them. 
because your hands are going to be busy. And now, let's go ahead and pop one of them in there. Obviously I missed. Um, I should have also mentioned you probably should wipe the oil off of the, the valve stems before you do this. So that the grease sticks on there better. Uh, but let's see if we can get that one in there. Okay, so it looks like one is in, and then we just gotta push that, rotate it a little bit to the side, um, and hope that it did not fall off of the stem. But that's the. Well, let's try to put this one in. Okay. Okay, so I think that they are both on there well. I don't know how well you can see that, but the two keepers are, um, are in place. So I'm going to slowly uh, unscrew this screw here uh, and then see if they do lock in place. Again, you want to do this slowly while keeping an eye on the keepers and make sure that they, they do slide in place. So they should basically be completely recessed within the, um, top of the valve spring. And it looks like they are. You can see that they've basically kind of recessed within the valve spring and I'm going to slowly again release this and all right looks like they're in and that's it